Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Today is going to be a fun day. Well, it's going to be multiple days actually and all days are really fun. But <laughs> what I mean by fun is that I'm going to be showing off a lot of optional stuff in this part that you might otherwise miss if you were to just aim for the ship parts and finish off the game. So anyway, we're going back to the impact site to do the first thing that I'd like to show off here. Now first, the first thing you want to look at is the day number at the upper right corner there. See that? It says 14. Well, on even number days, starting at day 8, you will find a critter known as the Mamuta back at that hollowed out, hollowed out tree stump back in the middle of this level. So... I'll just... I'll just get out 100. <laughs> what am I overthinking this for? Just get out everyone that you can. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. And then we go over here. Please, oh jeez, I knew there was going to be one here and it's going to divide and conquer my team even though it's not... <laughs> just bump me. Even though it's not going to do any damage to me whatsoever or the Pikmin. Yeah, come on. Don't attack the shiny thing. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can get my team up on here. It's Corel. But by rotating the C stick up, some fell off. I ate that box. That, anyway, is the Mamuta. It is a completely harmless enemy. It is apparently uh, a fully grown version of. Wait for it. The Smoky Prog. Yeah, that devastating critter that we faced back at the Distant Spring. That thing is perhaps the grown-up version of the Smoky Prog, but they also say that the Smoky Prog may be a malformed version of the Mamuta here. But anyway, you'll notice that it just, it just looks around. It doesn't really do anything, but once you throw a Pikmin onto it and it starts getting attacked, it'll be like, oh god! And then it'll start attacking the Pikmin, but well, watch what it does. It pushes the Pikmin into the ground, and it flowers them instantly. It's such a handy enemy to fight because it can flower Pikmin at such a high rate, and it's so much faster to flower them that way. But it dies pretty easily. <laughs> Sadly. Wait, you know, you know what? You guys take this back to the base. Why not? Just because. I... Oh boy, this is going to take me a while to pluck these. <laughs> A button! Oh, and I should also mention that uh, as long as you're back here, if you decide to come back here, the pearly clam clamps that had pearls in them before all have pearls in them once again. Yes, it is awesome. How many more are there? <laughs> I think I'm almost done here. Okay. Yeah, if you go over here, you'll notice that all the pearly clam clams have pearls to breed up your Pikmin once again, including the one that had the ship part, so that's pretty neato if you ask me. Um, just gotta get my team back together and then I'm gonna go to Sunset. I'm not gonna collect the pearls for the sake of a more realistic walkthrough, so to speak, like if I was aiming to... Uh, beat this game in as few days as I could like if I were to be playing it at, on like a normal run or something like that so Normally, I wouldn't come back here to get Pikmin and so yeah, it, it'll also save time for the the walkthrough as well I have plenty of Pikmin. I mean I have more than enough for the rest of the game here There's there's no issue whatsoever. What you're attacking that again? Have you not learned from the last encounter that you cannot defeat it by attacking it directly? In fact, you can't defeat it at all. Okay, I just want to make sure that I got all 100 here before I go to sunset. Whoa, 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 whoa 99. I just seen it. I had 100 there. I guess it doesn't matter. We're at base. Go to sunset! Oh, yeah. Do the Pikmin dance. Okay, there's not really any dancing going on here. <laughs> but it is the end of yet another day. Yeah, I know that was kind of a completely useless day for the most part, but you know, it's 
it's a thing of just for fun to show you guys this. I have plenty of days left to mess around with. In, in fact, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to beat the final area in a single part. And what do you have to say? It is very strange, the scenery of this planet, which I once found hostile. Now, sometimes strikes me as surprisingly serene. Perhaps the Pikmin have opened my heart to the beauty of this world. I even started thinking there are some parts I do not need. A daydream. Okie dokie. Uh, I don't know why he found this discovery later on. Again, ah, just ah, scripted scenes. <laughs> the graph looks kind of odd that it, I cut it off at the middle of the, well, a quarter of the day actually because of uh, when the sunset. I Maybe mean, I shouldn't have sprouted those 15 red Pikmin, but I guess it doesn't really matter because I have 292 anyway, so... Yeah, whatever. Uh, back to the impact site one more time. This would normally be where I would say, Yee, hello everyone, and wel welcome back to the walkthrough, but... Nope, the pacing is completely off here. <laughs> Alright, now... On odd number days, starting from day 9, you will find an enemy where that Mamuta was, known as Gulix. And it's a water-based enemy and cannot harm any blue Pikmin whatsoever. So, 100 blue Pikmin it is. <laughs> come on, come on guys, hurry. I'm planning on doing 3 days in this part actually. Uh, but I don't know, even know why I'm saying hurry, because I got plenty of time to do this. Oh, dear lord! No, go back in the hole! <laughs> Are you not gonna go back into the hole now that I struck you with a Pikmin? Let's just look at it twitching against that, it's kind of silly. <laughs> I think it's actually doing something it's not normally doing. Anyway, let's corral the Pikmin and up we go. Care. Fully. No, 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 oh, some aren't gonna make it again, some aren't gonna make it in. Okay, be careful of the center here. Just wanna kinda bait it out, because it'll hurt Olimar. Ah, there we go. It, do it doesn't hurt blue Pikmin, but it'll hurt Olimar. Uh, the Pikmin, on their own, will start, <laughs> will start attacking that shiny object in the center, which doesn't seem to do much of anything. <laughs> but... What you can do to speed up the process is throw Pikmin... Ah! <laughs> throw Pikmin on that squishy brain-like critter there, and it'll do quite a bit of damage. And it's already dead. <laughs> it flings Pikmin all over the place, though. Uh, it's surprising that it doesn't give you a pearl, despite what it, you know, it looks like that it has a pearl inside its body, but no, it, it doesn't. It just gives you a bunch of pellets. I don't really get that. Maybe it's because th this place gives you enough Pikmin if you come back here, you know, just by going to those pearly clam clamps. And, you know, they, they didn't want to overdo it, but those three pearly clam clamps alone are kind of overkill in on themselves, <laughs> if, if you really think about that. I mean, you're, you're getting 150 Pikmin every time you come here, you know, when those clams respawn their pearls. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, I'll grab that one. <laughs> Wait, did anyone get left behind there? I thought, no, I thought someone. But I guess they rejoined the team, unless I was just imagining things. And of course, you can always go back here for more Pikmin if you ever need that along the way. You know, flower Pikmin. Are, you know, I mean, that's actually kind of a good idea. Maybe, maybe as long as I'm here, I shouldn't like waste waste days and I could be flowering Pikmin here just for the heck of it. Just to speed things up and whatnot. Ooh, baby. <laughs> uh, the last area will require um, pretty much uh, all three colors, actually. So, it would be in your best interest to flower quite a, quite a lot of these if you can, just for speed. Although the uh, final boss requires pretty much just reds and yellows for the best method that I found to defeat him. Um, am I missing more grass around? Oh, wait, 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 wait. hold on. I thought I, I thought there was two. Corral, 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 and I totally flubbed that as usual. I will never, f <laughs> I will never master the the efficiency that I've seen people do of flowering as many Pikmin as you can with just one glob of nectar. Anyway, I'm gonna go to sunset since I covered Gulix there and flowered a couple Pikmin. 
And we get to watch the end of yet another day. This game has a really nice atmosphere, I have to say. Blast off! On a pretty much mostly unproductive day. <laughs> If I was Al Alamar, I personally would have gone to the last area for the last ship part ASAP, just in case my uh, um, suit ended up failing me before then, you know, like due to some technical malfunction, just to be safe. But no, nah, this is just how things are going. <laughs> 15 days since impact. What? No, you're you're giving me an educational lesson on the iridescent flint beetle. I'm not reading that. <laughs> And save. Let's go. So, it's third day. I'm going to go back over to the Forest of Hope. Now, why would I want to go back to the Forest of Hope? Hmm, do you guys remember anything happening at the last time I was here? Yeah, all those blue Pikmin that are in the onion over there. <laughs> Well, not, not in the onion, excuse me, around the onion, pardon me for that. They were just sitting here this whole time, in the ground for days on end, not flowering. They didn't have a chance to explore the outside world, the poor little things. So I decided to come back here and free them all. You're free. Free at last. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm just being way, way too dramatic here. <laughs> um, I should show you something else here. When Pikmin are idle, and you press down on the uh, the D-pad, they will carry you over to the onion. And I should actually zoom out the camera so you can see this better. Uh, watch this. They're going to carry you to the onion like you're some sort of object that they can breed you into. Watch this. You get sucked into it, but nothing happens. Except you get fireworks for it! Woo! Yeah, you don't get turned into Pikmin food, you get turned into, well, you, you make some sort of fireworks with your body. I don't even know how it works. <laughs> but yeah, that's, it's a neat little Easter egg there, and I, I forgot, I read how to do it on the Wii version as well. I, I think it's done differently because, you know, there's no, uh, uh, there's no way to do it with the um, Wii version. Like, you can't press down on the D-pad to do it. I think you have to, like, hold the 2 button or something like that to do it on the Wii version. But uh, that's pretty much all... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I still have yet to show uh, one more thing, don't I? Um, healing yourself at the uh, um, at the ship there. Someone... Oh, a swoop, swooping stitch bug. I didn't know you were here on other days. I guess it's because I, I always finish this place before they started appearing. Anyway, you guys start attacking me. Thank you. Thank you. This is very beneficial to me. <laughs> it's good for the walkthrough. Okay, if you go over here to the ship, press the A button. You rarely will ever need to use this because it, enemies are so clunky that they'll rarely be able to attack Alamar. And you also get a uh, like a little brief status report on your ship saying how many ship parts you need and whatnot. And as you can see, it filled my health up right to the max. And if you press the A button again, it'll let you do it again. And this is this is what baffled me that one other time when I tried it before, because I was at the end of the day and it wouldn't let me do this. Well, apparently you can't do this at the end of the day, even if you're low on health or, or something like that. I, I don't really understand that myself, but I mean, it pauses time, so it's not like you shouldn't be able to do it like it's like it's too risky to do because it would waste too much time but yeah it's it's perfectly fine you can just <laughs> I don't get it maybe I shouldn't be questioning the game logic because you know what happens when you do that we've seen it happen before <laughs> and let's go to sunset shall we just end off this day this little optional stuff that I wanted to show you of sorts and whistle to nothing because <laughs> they're already in the onion 
and it is pouring rain outside. Not in the game, I mean outside the house. <laughs> the power better not go out while I'm recording this, or I'm gonna be ticked. Luckily, I backed up my save file and stuff like that, so I don't really have to worry about, you know, losing progress due to failed recordings or something, something like that. But still, that's it would be like 15 minutes wasted completely. <laughs> 16 days since impact sheer girl, but today I've learned something new about these whoop Oliver <laughs> Scripted scenes just ah oh. I think I'm going faster than the game intended me to even with my days of zero production <laughs> So with that I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next part when I start, and hopefully finish, the final trial!